The Grameen Bank in Bangladesh is one of the first microcredit operations, and it was set up by a guy named Mohammed Yunus who got his Ph.D. in the U.S. and went home to visit relatives and found that everybody was preoccupied because they owed money lenders money. And so he took, got all his relatives together and he counted up how much they owed collectively the money lenders, and it was the equivalent of $46. So he paid the money lender himself, and then he thought, why can't I set up a banking system to be able to lend small amounts of money to poor people so that they could reinvest them in their own lives? So he first started lending to people who came in and applied. And he said first thing that happened was that he asked people, what are the ten things you're going to do with your money when you have the new income that you have from investing this $50 that I'm going to lend you? And they, um, he said on every woman's list, maybe somewhere on the bottom of her list was something for herself, because it was all things for her family. Um, and on any, every man's list, maybe somewhere at the bottom of his list was something for his family. Um, We've seen the same thing, by the way. There's an organization called IFPRI, uh, International Food Policy Research Institute. It's based in Washington. It's the premier food policy research institute. And they say, uh, in perhaps more um, uh, academic or diplomatic terms, uh, women have a um, – women spend – if they have income, they spend a high proportion of their income on food, health care, and general uh, household uh, responsibilities. When men have – income, they spend a much higher percentage of it for themselves as discretionary money for themselves than they do in money that goes to the household. So back to Mohammed Yunus, he found this first. The other thing he found was that 99 percent payback rate of his loans from the women that he loaned it to and a much lower payback rate of the loans from the men that he loaned to. So he, he after a few years, became almost exclusively a lender to women. So whether it's NGOs, whether it's the U.S. government, whether it is the U.N. or the World Bank or anybody else, uh, somehow people have to get the message about how important it is to reach women and how important it is that they put a high percentage uh, of their effort on this. I'm staying at the Wensley House, courtesy of Chautauqua Institute, and we were looking at the, um, at the little book of who else is slept in our room, the Barbara Bush room. Um, and as a good Republican, I'm glad to be in the Barbara Bush room. But one of the people who slept there was Margaret Mead, who said, never believe that a few caring people can't change the world, for indeed, that's all who ever have. I believe the solution to ending hunger is empowering women, and I believe that you are the people who can change the world.